Shalom, Israel. Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. This is your King and Shepherd KD coming with another message of daily edification brought to you through the Spirit and power. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. All praises. Um, it's the final installment of the rabbit hole. All right. I thought it was, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, do that. I gave y'all just as much attention as y'all gave me, you fucking Pharisees that's on here. I noticed the comments are slowing down. No, what's the matter? Is your women asking y'all questions now? Is your women asking y'all what does that mean and everything? Because uh, I know how you niggas operate, man. You, A lot of you niggas, man, some of y'all work, some of y'all do, but a lot of y'all don't, man. And y'all living off of y'all women. And a lot of y'all are out here being whores. Y'all out there fucking two-third women and shit bringing them home to your uh to your women talking about you could do that you a man of the lord y'all y'all do all kind of nasty trifling ass shit and then you want to tell the women that you with that it's okay and it's not you joining your body with non-believers be you not unequally yoked with a non-believer we held to a higher standard all right uh we don't do that over here none of these brothers over here in the royal house of david fuck with two-thirds uh, 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 going out grabbing two third women and shit like that. Now, some of them that came into this truth, they already had two third women, but that's all they dealing with. All right, hoping that she changed, but they ain't out here playing the field like you niggas be doing. I, I, I know, I know how y'all operate, man, and y'all treat y'all women like shit. All right, motherfucker, you supposed to have a job, but I'm gonna tell you what y'all are doing though. I noticed the women stopped coming, so now what you niggas are doing, Paulo. Don't 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 listen to him. He 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 eats pork. He, you can't listen to that. I just want to show you that. <laughs> I just want to show you that one video. You know, don't 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 uh don't 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 listen to anything else he says. Just stay over here. Come back to the camp now. Yeah, cause you niggas don't want her to get the truth, and that's fine. All right, that's cool. But uh, I I, I want to show y'all something. This is uh. Matthew, no, it's a lot. St. John chapter 16, verse 1 and 2. This is a warning from Yahweh Shai. These things have I spoken unto you that you should not be offended. Verse 2. They shall put you out of the synagogues. Yea, the time come that whosoever killeth you will think they do it the power service. And these things will they do unto you because they have not known the Father nor me. That's y'all. You don't know Yahweh Shai. You don't know the Father. Because y'all still trying to keep the law that he died to put away. You stupid motherfuckers. Judging me, you need to judge yourself. All right. Talking about what the fuck I'm eating. All right. Let me show y'all something. This is... <clears throat> Luke chapter 10. Verse 25. And behold, a certain lawyer stood up and tempted him, saying, Master, what shall I do to inherit e eternal life? He said unto him, What is written in the law? How readest thou? He has a saying that shall love the Lord thy power with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy strength, and with all thy mind, and thy neighbor as thyself. And he said unto him, Thou hast answered right. This do, and thou shalt live. All right? So, <clears throat> that's how you keep the whole law. Let me get another one. This is... Matthew 22, verse 36. Master, which is the great, which is, which is the great commandment in the law? Yahweh shall I said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy power with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Verse 40. 
on these two commandments, all right, hang all the law and the prophets. It don't get no clearer, uh, clearer than that. But that ain't what y'all do. You don't love the Lord thy God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength and love your neighbor as yourself. You want to judge somebody. See? I'm not on your channel coming to you talking about Y'all not keeping the law because you don't have your own flocks in your own herds. And y'all fuck two-third women, even though I know that's what y'all do. And then got the nerve. Let me tell y'all y'all ladies what they do to y'all, man. Then, when that don't work, they say, well, we'll just, we'll repopulate the kingdom with concubines. That's what y'all want to do anyway. All right? Y'all want to repopulate the kingdom with concubines because that's what you like. Because y'all concubines, man. Y'all shine fucking with y'all. I just read to you, man. He said, y'all don't know me or the father. Y'all don't know him. And you want to call up here trying to bang on me, man. Man, you niggas smoking crack, man. You smoking crack. And aside, glad to see you cut them braids off, man. That's cool. You almost look like, uh, 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 uh. You almost look like you Israel now. But let me tell you something, man. All right? You can make all the videos you want, dude. But pass this one around. Pass the first, second, and third one I put around and let your people hear that and see if they don't be looking at your ass funny. I guarantee you. Let's see you make some videos on that. Let's see you make some videos on the precepts. Let's see some videos on you being exposed on how you niggas ain't keeping the law, man. You couldn't keep it back then. What the fuck make you think you could do it now? All right? Our ancestors never ate pork, and they still didn't keep the whole law. So what are you talking about? The law can't be kept. They never ate pork. All you niggas here ate pork before. So y'all are dead in the water right there. The most I don't change shifts in the middle. If that's the case, he would have allowed us to keep our customs and to keep the law of Moses here because we would have known from birth. He's not going to lead us from birth and let us eat pork and shrimp and crab and all that, then halfway through our lives and then take it away. That's not decent and in order, man. All right? So that lets you know that food has nothing to do with your salvation. But you stupid-ass motherfuckers are delusional, man. Let me get a, a, a precept. This is Isaiah 66. Let Verse 4. I also will choose their delusions and will bring their fears upon them. Because when I called, none did answer. When I spake, they did not hear. But they did evil before my eyes and chose that which I delighted not. That's y'all. That ain't me. All right? He's choosing your delusions. You motherfuckers are delusional, man. Delusional, uh, for those of y'all that are, that are of the layman, means that no matter how much evidence you supply to these damn clowns, they're going to still sit here and say the same dumbass shit on the comment boards. Who oh, no, man. You, 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 The Most High is going to deal with you. You know, you're, he, you're, 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 you're a bug out. The Most High is going to deal with you. Nigga, it been how many years? All right. Most High could have been took me out, man. It's all up to him. If I'm wrong, which I know I'm not because I got the scriptures to prove it. I ain't twisting nothing. It's just that he got y'all mind so fucked up, you can't understand it. All right? He don't want y'all to get saved. He don't want y'all to understand what I'm talking about. Because I told you, y'all a bunch of fucking pigeons, man. A bunch of pigeons. All right? Now, when it comes to the the, 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 the days, all right, let's go to, um, I, not Isaiah, Romans chapter 14. All right, starting at verse one, him that is weak in faith, receive ye, but not to dis doubtful disputations. Now watch him discount Paul. Oh man, there you go running to Paul, but you know, Paul is not, Paul is not scripture. All right, Paul is scripture. Y'all going to say everything ain't scripture that condemns your punk ass. All right. For one believeth that he may eat all things. Another who is weak eateth herbs. Let not him that eateth despise him that eateth not, and let not him that eateth not judge him that eateth. For power have received him. Who are you that judge another man's servant? 
to his own master he stands or falls. Yea, he shall be holding up, for power is able to make him stand. Ain't none of y'all my God. Ain't none of y'all my fucking power. Here you are trying to judge somebody. Fuck all of y'all. Fuck all of y'all. All right? Verse 5. One man esteemeth one day above another. Another esteemeth every day alike. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. He that regards the day, regardeth it unto the Lord. That's what I said. I said, Yahawashai day, right? I'm regarding that day unto the Most High and his beloved Son. And he that regarded not the day to the Lord, he did not regard it. He that eateth, eateth to the Lord. For he have given the power thanks, which is what I did. And he that eateth not to the Lord, he eateth not and giveth the power thanks. I'm not getting on y'all because y'all don't do it, but don't get on me because I do. For whether we live, we live unto the Lord. And whether we die, we die unto the Lord. Whether we live, therefore, or die, we are the Lord's. At least I am. All right. For to this end, Hamashiach both died and rose and revived that he might be Lord both of the dead and the living. But why does thou judge thy brother? Or why does thou set at not thy brother? For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Hamashiach. For it is written, as I live, saith the Lord, every knee shall bow to me and every tongue shall confess to the power. So then every one of us shall give account of himself to the power. Let us not therefore judge one another anymore, but judge this rather, that no man put a stumbling block or an occasion to fall in his brother's way. I know and am persuaded by the Lord of Mashiach Yahweh that there is nothing unclean of itself, but to him that esteemeth anything to be unclean, to him it is unclean. But if thy brother be grieved with thy meat, now walkest thou not charitably. Destroy not him with thy meat, for whom a Mashiach died. Let not then your good be evil spoken of. Now, you niggas are the one that came on here talking that shit. If you don't agree what I'm doing, all you gotta do is scroll past. But what do you do? You making videos. All of you niggas are out of order. You building on another man's uh, foundation. All right? Just because you don't agree with it don't mean it's wrong. Ain't nobody got to do what the fuck y'all say. Ain't nobody, y'all ain't nobody daddy around here. But that's what you Pharisees do. You want to control people and you want to try to make people bow down to your bidding. Well, you'll never get that here. A whole uh, 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 garrison of motherfucker that tried to get me to bow down. All right. Some of you niggas need to shut the fuck up and get a damn job, all right? And get some damn business and stay out of mine, all right? I, 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 uh, uh, I'm really tripping off of y'all calling me a hireling. Uh, a, a hireling is somebody that works for money, all right? Let me get a precept. This is Isaiah 55 and 1. This is the free offer of mercy, all right? Ho! Everyone that thirsteth, come ye to the waters, and he that have no money, come ye, buy, eat, yea, come, buy wine and milk without price. Wherefore do you spend money for that which is not bread, and your labor for that which satisfieth not? Hearken diligently unto me, and eat ye that which is good, and let your soul delight itself in fatness. Incline your ear and come unto me. Hear and your soul shall live, and I will make an everlasting covenant with you. Even the sure mercies of David. So, like I said again, right? Where is David at? Where is your sacrifice? Where is it, Hassad? All right? Let me get another precept. Let's go to... Zechariah 13, verse 1. In that day there shall be a fountain open to the house of David and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem for sin and uncleanness. That wasn't talking about when Yahweh was here. That wasn't talking about the time of the prophets. That's talking about now. Because what did I say a couple of videos ago in Jeremiah chapter 30? In that day I will raise up David. And David is going to ha David's house is going to have a fountain 
opened up for sin and uncleanness. Now, you already know what I did. I hit the scripture on Zechariah chapter 13, verse 1. I hit the interlinear, all right? Let me show you something. I went to... Fountain, all right? And the word, Hebrew word for pop, fountain is makor, all right? And what is makor? Right here. See there? Makor. This is the meaning. A source of blood, a flow of blood, all right? That's what it means. And it says menstruous blood or blood after childbirth, but... When it's talking about a fountain, it's talking about blood, period, point blank, all right? It's talking about blood. So that means that the house of David, number one, has to have a king, and it has to have a blood sacrifice for sin and uncleanness. Where is yours? All right? I'll tell y'all what. We got ours here. Want to know why? Because... The most high has got, I got kidney failure, all right? But a flow of blood, I give my blood three times a week. Oh, I know what y'all going to do. Y'all going to laugh at that. Just know what that means. Did your how I bleed? Yes, he did. Am I bleeding? Yes, I am. You ain't got to believe a goddamn thing. But I tell you what, it's my own blood, and I got to go in there three times a week, every day, and I've been doing it. Had to stop working to do it. So y'all are going to think that I'm cursed because my kidneys have failed. No, the Most High told me he was going to do this. Let's go back to uh, Jeremiah chapter 30. Starting at verse 8. For it shall come to pass, saith the Lord of hosts, that I will break his yoke from off thy neck and will burst thy bonds and strangers shall no more serve themselves of him. I can never work again. My bonds have been broken. So the king has been array, has been risen. I got scripture to back up what I'm talking about. Would you say that aside, talking about I'm self-proclaimed? This is scripture. But they shall serve the Lord their power and David their king, whom I will raise up unto them. That's what makes this the royal house of David. That's me. All right. And I got a blood sacrifice right here. See this here? I got a blood sacrifice, motherfucker. All right. Every day I'm going into the morning, all right? That's my blood sacrifice. That's my offering. Same as your shy. It's why none of you niggas are going to make it. So you can sit here and think this a fucking joke, but it's not, man. All right? So my yoke was broken. I bleed out for my nation. I teach the true word of, of the Most High. And I live in liberty, all right? I live in liberty. Now, let's go to uh, Galatians chapter 4. This is the difference between bond and free. It's what the apostle wrote. Tell me, ye that desire to be under the law, do you not hear the law? For it is written that Abraham had two sons, the one by a bondman, the other by a freeman, free woman. One by a bondmaid, one by a free woman. So you got two women. You got a bondmaid, which is a slave, and you got a free woman. But he who was of the bondwoman was born after the flesh. But he of the free woman was, was by promise, which things are an allegory. For these are the two covenants. The one from Mount Sinai was gendered to bondage, which is Agar. For this Agar is Mount Sinai in Arabia, and answer it to Jerusalem, which now is and is in the bondage with her children. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all. So, you niggas are from Agar, and you come from Mount Sinai. That's why you can't get past the law of Moses. See, so... Y'all are forever stuck in that mentality of trying to keep the law. I'm not under that. I'm a king. I'm with Jerusalem, which is above that, which is free. All right? This is why Yahweh Shai said, I am from above, 
Ye are from beneath. I follow the teachings of Amashiach. You don't. I know that all I have to do is love the Lord thy power with all my heart, all my mind, all my soul, all my strength, and love my neighbor as myself. And on these two hang all the law and the prophets. I know that. You don't. You want to keep pointing out people's faults, thinking that you finna get to the kingdom, and you dumbass bitches that's following them. Like I said, man, fuck all of y'all. Y'all can laugh all you want, but when this, uh, uh, when this, uh, 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 corruption puts on incorruption, when this mortality puts on immortality, all right, then y'all gonna see. You niggas gonna have the same raggedy ass bodies that you got now. All right? Let me get a precept. This is uh, Zechariah chapter 13, verse 4. And it shall come to pass in that day that the prophets shall be ashamed, every one of his vision. When he hath prophesied, neither shall they wear a rough garment to deceive. That's what the fuck y'all do. Hasad, y'all wear a rough garment to deceive. Verse 5, but he shall say, I am no prophet, I am a husbandman. For man taught me to keep cattle from my youth. Verse 6, and one shall say unto him, what are these wounds in your hands? And he shall answer, those with which I was wounded in the house of my friends. Who's the house of your friends? The house of David that you're not part of. We're going to be beating your motherfucking ass. Yeah, y'all Israel, man. You Israel. You are. But you're not Israel. Because you want to try to keep the law and force that shit on everybody else. And that ain't going over here. We not, uh, y'all not running shit over here but your mouth. All right. Like I say, we can't wait to get our hands on y'all, man. All right? We are the royal house of David, man. You ain't got to believe it, but you are going to recognize sooner or later. All right? When them chariots pop up and leave you niggas behind, then you're going to fucking understand. And you might think I'm barking right now and it ain't going to come to pass, but watch what the fuck I tell you. The scriptures say it's a small remnant. And then scrimmage me, man. Which one of y'all? Where's your king and where's your sacrifice? I already told you how we get down here. You dig what I'm saying? So where's your where's your uh, sacrifice and where is your king? Where is your leader? Y'all got pr uh, uh, priests and prophets, no kings. Who is your declared king? Israel is no longer under the law, of Moses, because now the Bible said in the time of judgment, all right, a king shall reign in righteousness and princes shall rule in judgment. Ain't no fucking prophets, man. Time of the prophets is over. So, next time y'all want to come on uh, 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 to the Royal House of David with your chit-chat and talking your shit, think twice. Are you nappy-head, bubble-back, ham-hock ankle, cabbage-head bitches over there that want to follow you? Stay over there with that bullshit, man. All right? Stay over there. And for you nasty shitty drawed skinny jean wearing fringe wearing niggas over there standing on the corner looking stupid all right you keep y'all ass over there with that bullshit man we kings over here all right we kings so i'm gonna go ahead and cut this video short let me make sure i'm done is there anything else i need to say to y'all hmm No, I guess that's it. Uh, I guess that's it. Yeah. Anytime. Uh, 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 oh yeah. You know what? As far as, uh, what I put up, that ain't the first time, uh, that, that, that I've done that. I, I do it every year. All right. I can I can uh uh celebrate whatever I want to. All right. That's y'all with that shit. All right. So just 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 be sure to keep that shit over there. All right. But I guarantee you 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 niggas ain't going to show 
y'all women, none of these other three video, videos, you're going to keep that away because it's going to expose your hypocrisy. See? Y'all probably scrambling right now in your house uh, uh, to keep these women from hearing how y'all be fucking them over and taking their damn money. Y'all ain't nothing but a bunch of goddamn pimps. And Hassad, man, you nigga, you need to shut up. Motherfuckers at the club shaking y'all ass with fringes on, dancing and shit uh, uh, with the fucking heathens, man. And you up here trying to correct somebody, nigga. You need to go sit your ass down somewhere, man. For real. I, I don't know why you even thought about trying to contact me on some bullshit. You, Gorilla, Deacon, all of y'all, man. All of y'all. Niggas up here trying to trying to correct somebody and y'all shit is fucked up. All right. Y'all, a lot of y'all probably ain't even been in no damn relationship with a woman long enough. All right. So I uh, 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 uh and, and get off of my uh my Issa man talking about pants or whatever. All right. That ain't got nothing to do with nothing. All right. You motherfuckers kill me. And I seen some of y'all wives too, man. I ain't gonna even get started on that. All right. Maybe they ain't wearing pants, but I've seen them, and a lot of them look like some straight hood rats, all right? So, stay the fuck out of my mix, all right? Don't bring no smoke, and you won't get none back. I'm done with you niggas. Unless you want more, get at me. Giving all praise to Yahweh by Shema Mashiach Yahweh Shai. Royal House of David, we're going to resume, resume transmission so that we can stay and keep our vibration high. So that we can plan to get the fuck out of here and leave these old buster ass niggas in the, in the dust like where they supposed to be. All right. America finna shut the fuck down and you stupid ass niggas still talking about what somebody eating. All right. You niggas dumb making whole videos. You niggas don't go no higher than this, man. <laughs> you motherfuckers funny, man. I'm telling you. You motherfuckers funny. The world is coming to an end. The ten kingdoms and the ten horns and the seven kingdoms are in place. The United Arab Emirates are in place. And they are about to judge America. America is falling. And you stupid ass niggas worried about a ham sandwich. Dumb. All right. I bet y'all camp leaders ain't telling you about that. But the game is sold, not told. When the hatchet falls and your motherfucking heads is rolling, then you understand. All right. That's it. See you guys on the flip. Royal House of David. <clears throat> Love y'all. KD out. Shalom.